Hi, welcome back to this channel. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to enable pagination from our backend API. It is a really great feature, and we're going to test it out with Postman. Without wasting time, let's begin. Just before beginning, if you are new to this channel, consider to subscribe and comment our video to tell us what you think. And now let me show you what I'm going to teach you. For example, in Postman, I have um, here, we have already enabled pagination, which I'm going to um, teach you um, now. Here we have page two. And let me, let me show you. Uh, let, let me send the request, page two. And I have enabled, I mean, uh, one document per page. And as you can see, uh, we are in the page two. We have four page, okay? And the count is four. I'm gonna, you're gonna see in a while, I mean, how it works. So um, if I go to page three, for example, send a request, as you can see, this is the page three. And as you can see, the page was changed. Okay, according to the par this parameter, okay, passing in the URL. And now, so let's jump to our code editor to see how it works. Now in our code editor, what we are going to do, we're gonna, I mean, uh, enable pagination. So first of all, let's uh, enable pagination here. Pagination. Okay, because we have to go in the controller that display all the products. Okay, here first thing we're gonna we want to define cons. I mean, page size, the size of the page. Okay, by default we will choose two. Okay, because we don't have much products on. Okay, on the database, and secondly we wanna define. I mean, uh, um, uh, the, the page number, okay? So let's define, I mean, page equal request uh, a query that page number, okay? So this page number will be passed as, I mean, uh, parameter, okay, in the URL. And uh, if it doesn't find it, okay, we'll have one by default. But we want this to be a number. We're gonna wrap it with the number type, like so. Okay, and we wanna have a uh, number of document out okay, equal a weight because we we are using async weight. We're gonna use the product model. Okay, product that fine. Okay, empty object, and um, we're gonna use the method from I mean, um, the MongoDB estimated document out, which will give us, I mean, the number of document registered. Okay, for our product model. Okay. Now that we have everything almost set up, so we are going to add it. Okay. To enable the pagination here, some space. Okay. Um, skip. What we wanna skip? Uh, the page size here, and by parentheses page. Less one. Okay, I'm gonna explain here. Let me finish that limit to the page size. Here, what it does basically, for example, if we are on page, I mean, um, two, for example, on page two, um, we'll have, uh, because page will be passed as parameter, on page two, two less one, one, and basically it will skip. Um, okay, if it were, I mean, three, it will skip page basically, which is allow us to go to the next page. Okay, 
So um, basically that's what it is. And after that, we want to send the, I mean, the result to, to, into the front end. Okay, so we will have page, send page. We want to send also pages. Now to know the, the number of pages that we have, so we're going to use math that sale okay and uh, we have uh, already the count which is the number of document count okay divided by the page size okay when we have the total divided with the page size we will know i mean how much pages do we have and we're gonna send the, say we're gonna send the count also and basically that's what it is. Okay, we are done. Now let's test it out with Postman. Just before testing with Postman, I forgot to add the dot uh, um, in front of skip. And now let's go testing with Postman. Okay, so let's send the request. This is the endpoint that will give us all the products. Okay. So as you can see, um by default we have two products in the page okay but uh to go to the second page as you can see this is the page one number of page two and the count or as we have four documents in the i mean uh, in uh, our database and now let's pass the parameter Okay, here page number equal to because by default we have displayed the, the first page. Okay, as you can see, and uh, here also we have the page one, but now we want to go with page two. Okay, that's on the request. And as you can see, guys, we have different documents. So, as you can see, page two. Okay. Um, you see the number of the page we have, two pages, and the count still four because we have four, four documents. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and uh, share this to your friends so that uh, we can grow together. So if you have questions, please use the comment section. And um, from now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.